Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey is a historical period drama television series created by Julian Fellows and co produced by Carnival Films and Masterpiece. It first aired on ITV in the United Kingdom on 26 September 2010 and on PBS in the United States on 9 January 2011 as part of the Masterpiece Classic Anthology. The series, set in the fictional Yorkshire country estate of Downton Abbey between 1912 and 1926, depicts the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family and the domestic servants in the post-Edwardian era, with the great events in history having an effect on their lives and on the British social hierarchy. Events depicted throughout the series include news of the sinking of the RMS Titanic in the first series, the outbreak of the First World War, the Spanish influenza pandemic, and the Marconi scandal in the second series, the Irish War of Independence leading to the formation of the Irish Free State in the third series, the Teapot Dome scandal in the fourth series, and the British general election of 1923, the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, and the Beer Hall Putsch in the fifth series. The sixth and final series introduces the rise of the working class during the interwar period and hints towards the eventual decline of the British aristocracy. Downton Abbey has received acclaim from television critics and won numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award for Best Miniseries, a television film and a Primetime Emmy Award. Four outstanding miniseries a movie. It was recognized by Guinness World Records as the most critically acclaimed English-language television series of 2011. It earned the most nominations of any international television series in the history of the Primetime Emmy Awards, with 27 in total. It was the most watched television series on both ITV and PBS, and subsequently became the most successful British costume drama series. Since the 1981 television serial of Brideshead revisited by the third series, it had become one of the most widely watched television drama shows in the world. On 26 March 2015, Carnival Films and ITV announced that the sixth series would be the last. It aired on ITV between 20 September 2015 and 8 November 2015. The final episode, serving as the annual Christmas special, was broadcast on 25 December 2015. Although there are no plans in place, there are strong rumors of a future film adaptation, with executive producer Gareth Neem saying that he was very interested, and bookmakers Ladbrick stating that it only looks like being a matter of time before the film is released. Series 1 to 2010 the first series, comprising seven episodes, explores the lives of the fictional Crawley family, the hereditary earls of Grantham, and the domestic servants beginning the day after the historic sinking of the RMS Titanic on 14 15 April 1912. The storyline centers on the fetal or entail governing the titled elite which endows title and estate exclusively to as male. As part of the backstory, the main character, Robert, Earl of Grantham, had resolved past financial difficulties by marrying Cora Levinson, an American heiress. Her considerable dowry is contractually incorporated into the comital entail in perpetuity. Robert and Cora have three daughters and no sons. As the eldest daughter, Lady Mary Crawley was to marry her second cousin, son of the then heir presumptive. The first episode begins as news reaches Downton Abbey that both Grantham heirs perished in the sinking of the Titanic. A distant male cousin, solicitor Matthew Crawley, is from an upper middle class family as his mother reminds him in episode 1 of series 1. 
Matthew Crawley becomes the new heir. The plot centers on the relationship between Lady Mary and Matthew, who resists embracing an aristocratic lifestyle. A subplot involves John Bates, Lord Grantham's new valet, and Thomas Barrow, who resents Bates replacing him and causing Barrow to be demoted back to footman. Bates and Thomas remain at odds as Barrow works to sabotage Bates after learning he was recently released from jail for theft. In the storyline, Barrow, a gay man in late Edwardian England, aided by Miss O'Brien, Lady Grantham's maid, creates havoc for most of the staff. Barrow is caught stealing, but hands in his notice as he has joined the Royal Army Medical Corps. Matthew eventually falls in love with Lady Mary, but she rejects his proposal. Cora becomes pregnant, but miscarries after O'Brien, mistakenly believing she was to be fired, retaliates by leaving a bar of soap on the slippery bathroom floor. The series ends just after the Archduke Franz Ferdinand's assassination and the outbreak of the First World War in July 1914. Crawley family The series is set in fictional Downton Abbey, a Yorkshire country house, which is the home and seat of the Earl and Countess of Grantham, along with their children and distant family members. Each series follows the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family, their friends, and their servants during the reign of King George V. Cast The main cast of the Crawley family is led by Hugh Bonneville as Robert Crawley, the Earl of Grantham, and Elizabeth McGovern as his wife Cora Crawley, the Countess of Grantham. Their three daughters are depicted by Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary Crawley, Laura Carmichael as Lady Edith Crawley and Jessica Brown Findlay as Lady Sybil Crawley. Maggie Smith is Robert Crawley's mother Violet, Dowager Countess of Grantham. Samantha Bond portrays Lady Rosamond Painswick, Robert's sister who resides in Belgrave Square. London. Dan Stevens portrays Matthew Crawley, the new heir, along with Penelope Wilton as his mother, Isabel Crawley, who had brought to Downton. Alan Leach begins the series as Tom Branson, the chauffeur, but falls in love with Lady Sybil, marries her and becomes the agent for the estate. Joining the cast in series three is Lily James as the Lady Rose McClare a second cousin through Violet's family, who was sent to live with the Crawleys. Because of family problems, David Robb portrays Dr. Richard Clarkson, the local town doctor. Other suitors for Lady Mary's affections during the series include Tom Cullen as Lord Gillingham, Julian Ovenden as Charles Blake, and Matthew Good as Henry Talbot. Downton Abbey's senior staff are portrayed by Jim Carter as Mr. Carson, the butler, and Phyllis Logan as Mrs. Hughes, the housekeeper. Tensions rise when Rob James Collier, portraying Mr. Barrow, a valet and footman, along with Siobhan Finneran as Miss O'Brien, the personal maid to the Countess of Grantham, plot against Brendan Coyle as Mr. Bates, the valet to the Earl of Grantham, and his love interest and eventual wife, Anna, the personal maid, to Lady Mary. Kevin Doyle plays the unlucky Mr. Molesley, valet to Matthew Crawley, he, and Thomas Howes, as William Mason the second footman, round off the main. Original downstairs staff, Matt Milne joins the cast as O'Brien's nephew Alfred Nugent the awkward new footman for series 3 and 4, and Raquel Cassidy plays Baxter, Cora's personal maid, who was hired to replace O'Brien. The lower staff includes Leslie Nichol as Mrs. Patmore, the cook, Sophie McSharer as Daisy, the scullery maid who works her way up to assistant cook and marries William Mason, and Rose Leslie as Gwen Dawson, a kitchen maid studying to be a secretary in Series 1. Amy Nuttall plays Ethel Parks, a maid, beginning in Series 2 and 3. 
Cara Theobald portrays Ivy Stewart, a kitchen maid, joining the cast for series 3 and 4. Ed Spelliers plays the dashing James Kent, the second footman from series 3 through 5. In series 5 and 6 the final series, Michael C. Fox plays Andy Parker, a replacement footman for James. In series 4, 5, and 6 Andrew Scarborough plays Tim Drew, a farmer of the estate who helps Lady Edith conceal a big secret. Production Gareth Neem of Carnival Films conceived the idea of an Edwardian-era TV drama set in a country house and approached fellows, who had won an Academy Award for Best Writing for Gosford Park. Although fellows was reluctant to work on another project resembling Gosford, within a few weeks he returned to Neem with an outline of the first series. Influenced by Edith Wharton's The Custom of the Country, Fellows writes the scripts, and his wife Emma is an informal story editor. Locations Highclere Castle in North Hampshire is used for exterior shots of Downton Abbey, and most of the interior filming, the kitchen, servants' quarters and working areas and some of the upstairs bedrooms were constructed and filmed at Ealing Studios. Bridgewater House in the St. James area of London served as the family's London home. Outdoor scenes are filmed in the village of Bampton in Oxfordshire. Notable locations include St. Mary's the Virgin Church and the library, which served as the entrance to the cottage hospital. The old rectory in Bampton is used for exterior shots of Isabel Crawley's house, with interior scenes filmed at Hall Place near Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire. The Downton Abbey of the title and setting is described as lying in Yorkshire. The towns of Easingwold, Kirby Malzard, Kirkby Moorside, Malton, Middlesbrough, Ripon, Richmond, and Thirsk, each mentioned by characters in the series, lie in North Yorkshire, as does the city of York. While Leeds, similarly mentioned, lies in West Yorkshire. Yorkshire media speculated the general location of the fictional Downton Abbey to be somewhere in the triangulated area between the towns of Easingwold, Ripon and Thirsk. First World War trench warfare scenes in France were filmed in a specially constructed replica battlefield for period war scenes near the village of Akenham in rural Suffolk. Many historical locations and aristocratic mansions have been used to film various scenes. The fictional Hackshby Park, the estate Sir Richard Carlyle intends to buy in Series 2, is part of Waddesdon Manor in Buckinghamshire. Byfleet Manor in Surrey is the location for the Dower House, home to Violet. Dowager Countess of Grantham, while West Wickham Park in Buckinghamshire is used for the interior scenes of Lady Rosamond's London residence in Belgrave Square. A house in Belgrave Square is used for exterior shots. In Vareri Castle in Argyll, Scotland, doubled as Donegal Castle, in the 2012 Christmas special. Grey's Court near Henley-on-Thames in Oxfordshire was used as the family's secondary property, which they proposed moving into and calling Downton Place due to financial difficulties in Series 3. Also in the third series, Bates prison scenes were filmed at Lincoln Castle in Lincolnshire. Horse of Cane's railway station in Sussex is used as Downton Station. The station is part of the Heritage Blue Bell Railway. St Pancras Station in London doubled for King's Cross Station in Episode 1 of Series 4, in the scene where Lady Edith Crawley meets her lover Michael Gregson, the restaurant scene where Lady Edith meets Michael Gregson and where they share their kisses filmed at the Criterion Restaurant in Piccadilly Circus which was originally opened in 1874. Bridgewater House in the St. James area of London served as the family's London home. 
Outdoor scenes are filmed in the village of Bampton in Oxfordshire. Notable locations include St. Mary's the Virgin Church and the Library, which served as the entrance to the Cottage Hospital. The old rectory in Bampton is used for exterior shots of Isabel Crawley's house, with interior scenes filmed at Hall Barn. Hall Place near Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire, featured as Locksley House, the home of Sir Anthony Strallen. Parts of Series 4 were filmed at the historic dockyard Chatham, Kent. The Tard Yarn store was used in Episode 1 as a workhouse, where Mrs. Hughes visits Mr. Grigg and in Episode 2, Streets. At the historic dockyard Chatham were used for the scenes where Lady Rose McClare is at the market with James Kent watching her. The production had previously filmed in Kent for Series 1 where the opening sequence of a train going through the countryside was filmed at the Kent and East Sussex Railway. Other filming locations for Series 4 include the ballroom of the Savile Club in Mayfair, London. Scenes for the 2013 Christmas special were filmed at Royal Holloway, University of London near Egham, Surrey, West Wittering Beach in West Sussex and Berkshire's Basildon Park near Streetly. Lancaster House in London stood in for Buckingham Palace. Annick Castle, in Northumberland, was the filming location used for Brancaster Castle in the 2014 and 2015 Christmas specials which included filming in Annick Castle's staterooms, as well as on the castle's grounds, and at the nearby semi-ruined Hune Abbey on the Duke of Northumberland's parklands in Annick. In Series 5 and 6, Kingston Bagby's house in Oxfordshire was used as the location for Cavernham Park, the home of Lord Merton. In Series 6, the scenes of motor racing at Brooklands were filmed at the Goodwood Circuit in West Sussex. In 2015, Wayfair.co.uk published a map of 70-plus Downton Abbey filming locations. Opening The opening music of Downton Abbey, titled Did I Make the Most of Loving You, was composed by John Lunn. A sweet version was released on the soundtrack for the show on 19 September 2011 in the UK and later in the US on 13 December 2011. The soundtrack also included the song performed by singer Mary Jess Leverland, with lyrics written by Don Black. United Kingdom the series first aired on the ITV network in the United Kingdom beginning on 26 September 2010, and received its first Britain-wide broadcast when shown on ITV3 beginning in February 2011. STV, the ITV franchisee in central and northern Scotland, originally opted out of showing Downton Abbey, choosing instead to screen a brand-new six-part series of Taggart following a long practice of opting out of networked United Kingdom-wide programming on the ITV network. This led to backlash from Scottish viewers, who were frustrated at not being able to watch the programme. Many viewers with satellite or cable television tuned into other regional stations of the ITV network, for example ITV London with viewing figures showing this is also commonplace for other ITV programs. STV announced in July 2011 that it would show the first and second series of Downton Abbey as a part of its autumn schedule. Scottish cast members Phyllis Logan and Ian Glenn were both quoted as being pleased with the decision. United States in the United States, Downton Abbey was first broadcast in January 2011 on PBS. As part of the 40th season of Masterpiece, the program was aired in four 90-minute episodes, requiring PBS to controversially alter the beginning and end points of each episode and make other small changes, thereby slightly altering each episode's structure. 
to accommodate fitting the program precisely into the running times allotted. PBS also added a host who introduced each episode, explaining matters such as the entail and Buccaneers for the benefit of U.S. viewers, which was labeled by some American critics as condescending. PBS editing for broadcasts in the United States continued in the subsequent seasons. The fifth began airing in the United States on 4 January 2015. Canada in Canada, Vision TV began airing the program on 7 September 2011. Canadian audiences can also view the series on PBS. Downton Abbey is aired in French on ICI Radio Canada TE Acute L Acute. Ireland in Ireland, independent television channel TV3 aired the first series in January and February 2011. Reception The series has been noted for its relatively sympathetic portrayal of the aristocratic family and the class-based society of early 20th century Britain. This has led to criticism from the political left and praise from the right. James Fenton wrote in the New York Review of Books, It is noticeable that the aristocrats in the series, even the ones who are supposed to be the most ridiculous, never lapse into the most offensive kind of upper-class drawl one would expect of them. Great care has been taken to keep them pleasant and approachable, even when the things they say are sometimes shown to be class-bound and unfeeling. Jerry Bowyer argued in Forbes that the sympathy for aristocracy is overstated, and that the show is simply more balanced than most period dramas, which he believes have had a tendency to demonize or ridicule upper-class characters. He wrote that Downton Abbey shows, there is no inherent need for good TV to be left of center. Stories sympathetic to virtue, preservation of property and admiration of nobility and of wealth can be told beautifully and to wide audiences. Downton Abbey has been a commercial success and received general acclaim from critics. Although some criticize it as superficial, melodramatic or unrealistic, others defend these qualities as the reason for the show's appeal. David Camp of Vanity Fair wrote, Melodrama is an uncool thing to trade in these days, but then, that's precisely why Downton Abbey is so pleasurable. In its clear delineation between the goodies and the baddies, in its regulated dosages of highs and lows, the show is welcome counter-programming to the slow-burning despair and moral ambiguity of most quality drama on television right now. James Parker writing in The Atlantic, said, preposterous as history, preposterous as drama. The show succeeds magnificently as bad television. The dialogue spins light operatically along in the service of multiplying plotlets. Not too hard on the ear, although now and again a line lands like a tray of dropped spoons. The acting is superb, it has to be. Ben W. Heinemann Jr. compared the series unfavorably to Brideshead Revisited, writing, Downton Abbey is entertainment. Its illustrious predecessor in television mega success about the English upper class. Brideshead Revisited is art. He noted the lack of character development in Downton. Writing in the Sunday Times, A. A. Jill said that the show is everything I despise and despair of on British television, National Trust sentimentality, costumed comfort drama that flogs an embarrassing, demeaning, and bogus vision of the place I live in. The first episode of Downton Abbey had a consolidated British audience of 9.2 million viewers, a 32% audience share, making it the most successful new drama on any channel. Since Whitechapel was launched on ITV in February 2009, the total audience for the first episode, including repeats and ITV player viewings, exceeded 11.6 million viewers.
This was beaten by the next episode, with a total audience of 11.8 million viewers, including repeats and ITV player views. Downton Abbey broke the record for a single episode viewing on ITV player. The ITV online catch-up service at Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating out of 100. To reviews from mainstream critics, the first series received an average score of 91, based on 16 reviews, which indicates universal acclaim. This result earned the show a Guinness World Record in 2011 for highest critical review ratings for a TV show, making Downton Abbey the most critically well-received TV show in the world. Season 4 of Breaking Bad surpassed Downton Abbey's record later in the year, with a score of 96, making Series 1 of Downton Abbey the second-highest-rated show of 2011. Sam Wollaston of The Guardian said, It's beautifully made, handsome, artfully crafted and acted. Smith who plays the formidable and disdainful Dircher Countess, has a lovely way of delivering words, always spaced to perfection. This is going to be treat if you like a lavish period drama of a Sunday evening. Viewers were critical of the number of advertisement breaks during the first episode, claiming it ruined the continuity. ITV responded by saying that the number of breaks complied with Ofcom regulations and that advertising was necessary to cover the high costs of production. The second series premiered in Britain on 18 September 2011 in the same 9pm slot as the first series, with the first episode attracting an average audience of 9 million viewers on ITV1, a 34.6% share. The second episode attracted a similar following, with an average of 9.3 million viewers. In January 2012, the PBS premiere attracted 4.2 million viewers, over double the network's average primetime audience of 2 million. The premiere audience was 18% higher than the Series 1 premiere. The second series of Downton Abbey gave PBS its highest rating since 2009. The second series averaged 5.4 million viewers, excluding station replays, DVR viewings, and online streaming. The 5.4 million average improved on PBS first series numbers by 25%. Additionally, episodes of Series 2 have been viewed 4.8 million times on PBS's digital portal which best series one's online viewing numbers by more than 400%. Overall, Downton Abbey-related content has racked up more than 9 million streams across all platforms, with 1.5 million unique visitors since Series 2 s the 8th of January premiere. In 2013, Downton Abbey was ranked the 43rd most well-written TV show of all time, by the Writers Guild of America. The third series premiered in the UK on 16 September 2012, with an average of 9 million viewers. For the first time in the UK, episode 3 received an average of more than 10 million viewers, premiering in the US in January 2013. The third series had an average audience of 11.5 million viewers and the finale on 17 February 2013 drew 12.3 million viewers making it the night's highest rating show. Overall, during its seven-week run, the series had an audience of 24 million viewers making it PBS's highest rated drama of all time. While rumored, due to the departure of actor Dan Stevens, the death of Matthew Crawley, in the 2012 Christmas special, Drew Criticism, Lord Fellows defended the decision stating that they didn't really have an option once Stevens decided to leave. Stevens later said that he had no say in the manner of his character's departure, but that he was sorry his character had died on Christmas Day. The fourth series premiered in the UK on the 22nd of September 2013 
with an average audience of 9.5 million viewers, the highest ever for one of the drama's debut episodes. It premiered in the US on 5 January 2014, to an audience of at least 10.2 million viewers, outperforming every other drama on that night. It was the largest audience for PBS. Since the 1990 premiere of the Ken Burns documentary The Civil War in the UK, the second episode attracted an average of 9.6 million viewers. The third episode, which aired on 6 October 2013, included a warning at the beginning. This episode contains violent scenes that some viewers may find upsetting. The episode content, in which Anna Bates was raped, led to more than 200 complaints by viewers to UK television regulator Ofcom, while ITV received 60 complaints directly. On 4 November 2013, Ofcom announced it would not be taking action over the controversy citing the warning given that the episode was screened after 9 p.m., and that the rape took place off-screen. Anti-Irish allegations Julian Fellows supports a united Ireland, ultimately, I believe in a united Ireland. I do come from a long line of home rule supporters. Charges, largely in some Irish media were made that the series depicts the Irish characters in a negative light. Alan Leach, who plays Tom Branson in the series, when asked about this by an Irish reporter writing for The Herald, denied that the series depicted Irish characters in a stage pejorative fashion. Tom's brother Kieran, however, is depicted as boorish, rude, and drunken, and is described by the Dutch accountess as a drunken gorilla, a reminder to Irish audiences of the ape-like figures depicting the Irish that were commonly featured in British and American publications in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Dowager Countess character who makes these comments, however, was born in the mid-19th century and frequently expresses Tory or pro-imperial views that were prevalent in England in the late 19th and early 20th century. Branson's character as an Irishman came in for some criticism in Ireland. The Irish Times in a mocking review describes the character of Tom Branson as an Irish Republican turned down Tony and Toff and makes a humorous, sarcastic case for a future Downton Abbey series where Branson Wax is lyrical about how lovely being part of the British ascendancy is. Then he burns an Irish flag. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.